Uh, let's go to Stuart now to talk a bit of football. He's a Burma City fan. All right, Stu? Stu Pop. Hello, you all right, lads? How are you, Stu? Yeah, uh, gutted and disappointed. Oh, my best buy, by the way. Go on. My best buy, lads, is my car to get me away from St Andrews quick time tonight. That was <laughs> terrible. Honestly, I mean, look, you've been to the game, Stu. What's the atmosphere like? Because this has just turned into an absolute disaster. Yeah, it has. It's like we're sleepwalking into League One, which my lad is quite happy about because he's had enough now. <laughs> now, I can't, I can't fault the owners. They've come out and admitted they're getting really used to such a disaster, um, and it was. Mm. Um, getting Rooney in, and it's just gone downhill from there. But it's been on the cards for the last six, seven, eight seasons, really. We've survived by the skin of our teeth, and just now we're, pay- now we're seeing... Oh, I know, but, it, sh- but Stu, you were, you were sick when you sat used this. I know, uh, uh, mate. I, so I know. it's not like you ain't got the team and you ain't got the players. I can no, understand it if you like. You, you, it's just a lack of investment, or you ain't got the, you yeah. know, the boys to get it done. But you, you, you shown yeah. that you did. So, I mean, what, how can it turn so bad? I, I, I ain't got the answer. I thought, right? I thought we're creating chances, creating chances. We'll turn a corner. We'll turn a corner. Tonight we created chance after chance. We just can't score. If we stand still up front on his own, he's just running, running, running. Not playing Yukovic because he's been injured. We've missed him. He brings Scott Hogan on, who he can't buy a goal for love the money. And we just he takes off Bakuna and he takes off um, Sansfield. He takes off Bakuna and he brings on a defensive-minded player. And you're like, why? This doesn't work. You got you got Coventry at the weekend. Problem is though, Stu, <clears throat> the, the problem you got, Stu, is. Like Portsmouth went down to League One, right? And it takes yeah. Yeah. it can be a nightmare getting out of that. It can be, yeah. Because teams teams I'm come up, they want to spend money. You know, you've yeah. got teams in there who are still trying to get out of it. You know, it's not it's not like a, you go All right. Well, look, we go down, we take on a chin, and we come back up. No. It's hard. You know, that's what people are thinking, and it's not going to be like that because it is hard. You've got like like you say, Portsmouth, Derby County, Bolton Wanderers, and you're going to be everyone's cup final. Exactly, yeah. And I was thinking that tonight, sat there thinking, the team, Cheltenham, Bristol Rovers, etc. they're all going to come to that ground thinking, oh, look at this, and they're going to play. Mm. And we've got to try and rise to that. We're going to be a big fish in a, in a, in a pond again and mm. try and be the best of, of everything. And it, it ain't going to work. It's going to be a couple of years. This five-year plan for the stadium and that, lovely, but the team on the field needs to match the ambition. Oh, yeah. Well, I feel I feel for Birmingham, to be fair. I mean, I really do. They're a good, good football club, but, I mean, that is... No, that is I did disaster. not see that coming. Stu, thanks for your call, mate. Right, let's go to Bradley. He's a Birmingham City fan. All right, Brad. All right, Brad. How you doing, lads? You OK? Oh, Brad, how are you feeling, mate? I mean, it uh, is all going wrong. Um, Honestly, boys, you know, I'm 24, so I've only been a Blues fan for, what, 19 years. You know, the elation when we won the Carling Cup against Arsenal... And how it's gone downhill from there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just, I just don't understand how bad it's got. I mean, I know, you you know, you, it's a tough league, but, you know, the players that you had and the players that you've got, surely you shouldn't be second from bottom. Yeah. Do you want to know what, it, obviously, you, sis, you know, we beat Uddersfield 4-1, beat the Baggies 3-1. Rooney came in and, you know, it's, it's quite clear to see that all the players resented it. And it just didn't work. And we've just not been able to stop the rot. And uh, one of my pals said to me, you know, Blues are cursed. And then three weeks later, bless him, Tony Mowbray fell ill. And I I think it's sod's law, it's Blues, you know, looking at the news. What are they investing? What, £2 billion into this new sports complex? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, so they say irrelevant. If if Birmingham get relegated, they're still going to push ahead with a new stadium, right? (laughs) Apparently so. But listen, boys, it's... Do you want to know the frustrating thing for me? There's no fight on the pitch, you know. Sanderson, the captain, ever since he's got the armband, he's, he, he's got progressively worse. There's no confidence going forwards, you know. We've got Jay Stansfield going forward, and he's a great player, but there's there's no link-up play, and it is, it's very disheartening. But on a promising note, I do have a good purchase that I've made over the past oh, few days. Oh, go on, then. Okay, go on. So, on the similar ones to you, Jason, I bought a, a Shark vacuum cleaner. Yeah, I've got one of them. Um, Slightly more manual labour than the uh, the old robot, but yeah. the suction is fantastic. Yeah, I've got one of those, the cordless. They're, they're, yeah, they're I've brilliant. got a cordless one, but uh, I mean, look, I'll be honest, I bought it off Amazon, and <laughs> the missus hates. Hate, she hates it. She hates it. She says it's rubbish. It's not. It's not powerful enough. The battery don't last long enough. Get Bob. She's not Get having Bob. it. She's Get. not having it. She says you need. Get. You can't beat a Henry. Henry the Hoover's are the are the, are the daddies yeah, of Hoover's. The, 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 Pneumatic sort of power. Brad, 
Brad. Yes. I've got a shock, yes. and you're absolutely right. They are brilliant for manual things. But I've got to tell you, mate, since we've got sure. Bob, the shark hasn't seen da- the daylight, poor thing. Stop. He, he's he's got reckon, all his attachments. Pardon? Do you reckon they'll have a bit of a scrap, Bob I, and Shark? He comes out on top. Well, Shark's more... He's a little bit... He's got a bit more about him, but I don't think Bob would care. I think Bob would just get coming up to him. <laughs> Bob sort of come waltzing in like yeah, it's his gas now, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, Bob, Bob rules... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go and have a... Go and get a Bob, Brad. Go and get, go and get a Bob. Right. Keep right on, lad. Cheers, Brad. <laughs> Brad. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> Two hoovers having a scrap. <laughs> Seriously, Sharp it's Champions Bob. League tonight. Pitch in Barcelona have played. We're talking about overs having a scrap. Seriously, what's happened? This is your fault. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy, Monday to Thursday nights from ten on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.